There you go. Hey, Mary. Hey, y'all. Boo, boo. Um, oh, let me say this. Hey, uh, I'm, uh, for YouTubers, I'm putting this on YouTube, so that's why I'm sideways. So for YouTubers, I'm on Periscope, um, chatting with people so that I see comments that you don't see. I forgot to mention that. Hi. <laughs> Mary jumped on so quick. <laughs> I was like, someone's on already. You know how we're like, if you're watching this, you're watching the replay. <laughs> All right, guys. So my two months with Agnes and Dora was on February 15th. Yes. And I kind of was like, oh my gosh, I'm already been in two months. I was selling. I was like, two months is today. It was my two month door anniversary. So I know Shelves is on and hey, Tammy. And I literally was about to hop on. I saw Shelby come on. I was like, I've got to do it now. I've got to come on now. So it's like, I was like, I can't come on later. So anyways, I realized that I haven't done a video on how I've been doing since like three weeks in, I think. So it's been a while. So I wanted to come on and do a video on what I've done since three weeks in. <laughs> so let's see here. How do I do this again? To here. Okay. I'm trying to pull up my sales reports. All right. So I started out just for people who don't know or haven't seen my first video on this. I started out with the 3,500 kit at the time. Agnes and Dora had, um, a 2500 kit, a 3500 kit and a $5000 kit which is changing. Who took my picture? Which um there's a lot of stuff changing from people who are in the queue and are interested in onboarding already kind of know about like what's going on. So I started out with a $3500 kit which had I don't even know how many pieces. It had like 180 pieces or something like that. Maybe a little less than that. I had like a ton of stuff. That's for sure. So I started selling um, on December 15th. I received my kit the day before. I No, that day, December 15th, I did a pop the box. And some obstacles I dealt with are, I know, like, oh, she's pretty. Let me take a picture of her. It's like, make sure I don't have any personal information for reals. All right, so some obstacles I dealt with in the couple of months I've been selling is I had a lot of, you know, my wisdom tooth pulled out. Thank you for the hearts the first month. Um, literally the day before I popped the box, I had my wisdom tooth pulled out. So hi Susie. So I, um, was like in an extreme pain in a hydrocodone selling. So powered through it. And for like that whole week it sucked. But I was like, I was going to make this happen. And then some other stuff. I had my great grandmother passed away in January and we had to go last minute to New Jersey and we were blessed to have Agnes and Dora, um, me selling Agnes and Dora because it really helped us with that. We spent over 1K going to New Jersey and that really like hit us really hard, you know, not only emotionally, but monetarily as well. So that really kind of put a halt on how much I was able to order and add to my inventory because that chunk of money was going to go towards inventory and paying off my, my debt. So but you know still power through it and kind of i'm kind of catching up again but those are a few obstacles that i encountered just personal obstacles um with how i was able to sell you know but anyways i do a mixture of periscope sales a lot of you guys know i do periscope and facebook my facebook is almost at 800 i want to get it to a thousand that's one of my goals by the end of the month um but a big chunk of my sales comes from periscope so um I'm getting a lot of messages. So yeah, uh, let's get started, I guess. So my gross sales. All right, so December, if you guys don't know Agnes and Dora, we had promotions. It was two for 40 leggings and 10% off 50 or more. So if you bought 50 or more. So I um, participated in both of those. You don't have to participate in company promotions. They give you the choice of participating in it and, or not. And I decided to participate in it, especially because I... Um, was so new and I really wanted to like get my sales, you know, out there. But anyways, like up there, I mean, my gross sales <clears throat> was $4,583 from December 15th to January 15th. So my first month and I had $400 in discounts and 
with fees and everything, I collected $4,073.68. So I had signed up under a friend with Square. Um, PayPal is having trouble with PayPal and also PayPal will, um, thank you, hold your money. Um, sometimes when you sell a certain amount and I had several friends who had their money held for 30 days and I was like, I cannot have my money held. I need to like buy inventory like this. So I signed up with Square, signed up under a friend. So up to $1,000 in sales was covered for fees. And then after that I was charged. So my fees were pretty low, $140.84 for that. Again, discounts was really big because I did a lot of the two for 40 promotions and the 10% off 50. Like I was getting a ton of sales with that. So, and one thing that I don't do is you know, I just want to say comparison is a thief of joy, okay? So I do not compare myself to anyone who's doing better than me because we compare ourselves, thank you for the hearts, to people who are doing better than us, but do, do we ever compare ourselves to the people who are doing less than us? You know? <laughs> um, not really. So I don't like to compare myself to anyone who has done much more than me or because I'm not looking at people who have done much less than me either. Yeah, it's the thief of joy. Someone said, yes, never compare, it does us no good. And someone else said, yes, do the best job you can. Absolutely. So what I did is average for Agnes and Dora. Um, that's like average sales for my kit size is what I what I sold. So I am, uh, I'm really grateful for that. Would I like to have sold more? Yeah, of course. Who doesn't want to make more money? <laughs> you know, am I working on selling more? Yes. Always working on myself and always working on my goals reaching for my dreams and again just do not compare yourself with others because I I did that in the beginning because a lot of us were sent our kits all at once thank you for the hearts so it was easy to compare because so many of us received their kits at the same time and I was like how come she's doing so much but then I would see other girls who were doing less and so I was grateful so I'm just grateful to have this business that was able I was able to go to New Jersey with this business and um, pay bills with it so I would have loved to put all of my thank you for the hearts all of my money into inventory but I have I can't do that I'm not in the position to put all of my money into inventory so let's see all right so month two gonna be I guess the 16th oh hold on sorry guys so month two I did Oh gosh, it's really not that hard to pull it up. So I, I guess I'll do the 16th of January to the 15th of February. I sold five, my gross sales were, hey, $5,373.63. My discounts was 293. Discounts and comps, that's going to be for me, that's gonna be, hey Dizia, is gonna be, um, not promotions, Giveaways, so if I have a door dollars or anything like that, that's gonna be part of that. And then exchanges, if I have like a negative. I only do exchanges, I don't do returns, but usually when I do exchanges, it's either breaking even or above. So all of this is any type of giveaways I did. And let's see. So, and I didn't do 293 in giveaways. I probably had, I would have to look at that because I don't do that many giveaways. But I'll have to check that out. All right, so net sales was $5,080.63. And with my fees and everything, I collected, my net total was $4,980.63. And my fees were $175. So when I, when I make my goals and I see the numbers, I go by my gross sales because when you count for, unless you're having like a ton of exchanges, which I, I really don't, like I said, when people exchange stuff, they usually get either the same amount or buy more. Um, but there's gonna be fees and if you're, if you're part of promotions, promotions is like a really big cut into your money. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, that's why a lot of reps don't even participate in promotions. I, I'm part of, someone said by fees, do you mean PayPal and shipping? I'm part of Square. So I, shipping is not in this, it's just Square fees for using the program. So, um, and shipping fees, um, I'm a, I use shipping easy. So I pay $30 a month, I think for that. And I have, I think $30 a month and, um, everyone pays shipping. So all my clients pay shipping unless I have free shipping, like they want free shipping or something like that. Um, 
or I also do, I'm really big on customer service, so I will exchange the first item for them, or if it's something flawed, yeah, $30. If it's something that was flawed that was sent to them, because I do a lot of things like in the bag already, so I don't check those, I just sell them like Lauren does, I just like go ahead and sell them. So people pay for their shipping, so I make that money back. You know, all of that I make back. That's why you, you because you're paying for a program and because you are buying the poly mailers and buying the thank you cards and buying the stickers and buying whatever you're putting in your packages, you charge a little bit more for shipping than you actually pay. Plus what Agnes and Dora policies and procedures state that we have to charge $4 minimum for shipping and they're currently working on policies procedures. So it might go up because USPS rates did go up. So they might end up going up, who knows. So that was for those two months. And so total I did, since I launched Drumro Please or Hearts <laughs> from December 15th to Oh, hi. I'm going day by day. From December 15th to February 15th? Yeah. I sold... Yes. $9,956.63. Thank you for the hearts. And then after any discounts, fees, taxes were really low. I don't have a lot of, like, local shoppers so I just started getting more local shoppers recently so after all of that I sold nine thousand and fifty four dollars and thirty one cents and this doesn't include <laughs> I should put this in here I had some cash transactions I didn't put it in here so it probably a couple hundred over that but I've had some cash transactions that I just recently was like maybe I should put this into square so I use the app and I go ahead and like do the transaction and then just put cash. So usually that transaction is pretty quick and they just, it's usually friends, so they just give me the cash. And then um, they don't even care about receipts or anything. So afterwards, I'll like put it in there and just put that, I had a cash sale. So yeah, so my, um, I almost did $10,000 in two months and my initial goal was to do that. I wanted to do about 10K in two months. I was like, 10K two months, 10K two months. And I'm the type of person who's really hard on myself. I'm like sweating. <laughs> I, I get so, when I sell, I'm really not that nervous, but when I'm chatting, I get nervous. So my goal was 10K and I really wanted to make that goal. Thank you. I wanted to make that goal and I am such a perfectionist that when I make my goal, I'm never happy with myself and it's something I'm working on because I'm like, well, I could have done more or maybe if I did in homes or maybe if I did this, but my business is growing. I've been in this only two months and I was talking to TC about this. You know, we've been doing this for only two months and I think what we're doing is amazing. I'm doing about the average of what most reps do. So it's amazing. So someone asked, how often do you sell? I sell about three, four times a week sometimes. So I usually, I usually am on Periscope much more often. Yeah, we've been talking about, someone said, um, TC said, yes, girl, we've been doing it for this for two months, but I try to do weekend album sales, and recently I've been doing party sites, so last weekend I was the first time I used the party site to put all my inventory on there. The first time I did it was just for brand new inventory, just to get people used to it. So Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays are album and party site sales. Sundays I'm off, and I just started that a couple of weeks ago. I realized that, you know, I, I do this for my for my family and I the party site I'll answer that in a second TCM someone said how do you like it so I do this so I can spend time with my family and I can help my family and I can get out of debt and although right now I haven't really paid off anything like I'm just making my minimum payment on my cards I know that in six months like where Lauren is I know I'm going to be successful I know if I keep pushing just put my head down and keep pushing and planning and being positive I'm going to be successful so I took Sundays off recently. So people can shop as they want to, but I won't answer any questions. You might see me go on my group and post stuff just to get, you know, interaction. My son is at the door. <laughs> just to get interaction, but I won't answer messages and I won't answer questions or anything like that. Like I just try to focus on my family because once I go on Facebook, I just get pulled in. Once you answer one question, a customer sees you answer their quest one customer's question and not theirs and it's just too much so I definitely recommend taking a personal day when you do this 
two if you can. Um, just like a regular job. So I do Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays are my album of party site sales. And then during the week I do distracted. Yeah, <laughs> I do um, either, hi Andrea, I do Periscope sales about twice a week. And recently I've been doing Facebook Live. So last week I did a Facebook Live and a Periscope sale with my weekend album sales. So I do three sales a week basically. Um, and recently I've just been doing it like that because my inventory has been pretty low because of the death in my family and I haven't been able to order as much as I want to. So I've had to slow down in, in my sales because it's like I only have a certain amount to show. But I before I was going on Periscope more often, like three times a week. So now I'm kind of setting a schedule. Like I'm like Fridays definitely is going to be weekend. I've been adding more multi wraps into my group. So you have only selling for two months. You seem so seasoned. Oh, someone said you have only been selling for two months. You seem so seasoned. Thank you so much. I forget I'm on, this is going to be on YouTube, so I should read the, the comments. Um, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. I don't feel seasoned. I promise you. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I still get nervous and stuff like that. But, but yeah, you know, um, I'm building my inventory and things that I want to do for March coming up, thank you for the hearts, you guys, is do um, more multi-reps. Um, I want to do in-homes, private shopping, and hostesses. I've only had one hostess, and I did it one time, and I was just starting out and whatnot, so I wish I would have done a few more things differently, but sometimes hostess, like, sales would be really good. Sometimes they won't. You know, my hostess was amazing. She did such a great job. She was awesome did a lot of her friends buy not really and it's not her fault like she was flawless like I would be happy to have hostesses like her all the time but just because you have a hostess doesn't always mean that it's gonna be amazing just same thing with in-home same thing with multi-reps same thing with a periscope sale you guys <laughs> some periscope sales are great for me and others I'm like mm, womp womp <laughs> but if I let that affect me and it's hard because I'm a perfectionist and I like everything to go my way because I'm human. If I let that affect me, I'm never going to get where I need to be. So Agnes and Dora, I, um, if you haven't seen my LuLaRoe versus Agnes and Dora video, you can check that out here or on my YouTube page, um, which is Agnes and Dora by Jessica Parada. And you'll find me there. But I did um, compare both of them and I'm really happy with Agnes and Dora. It varies, but you have to keep pushing. Yeah, you have to keep pushing. And just like you do anything else, just like, you know, at your job, your goals, whatever it is, you have to keep pushing. So I, um, I'm really happy with choosing Agnes and Dora. I'm on an amazing team. Lauren is, Dorothy's my refer referring rep and Lauren is my grandmother. <laughs> so, um, Megan Mann is my great grandmother <laughs> and rep and, um, everyone's really amazing, very supportive. People answer my questions, they help me out, people share ideas. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. The, the stuff that this company is doing is, I can't I can't even begin to tell you the things they're doing. The party site is just the beginning. To have a party site that is just like shopping, like if you were to go to Walmart, you know, dot com or Kohl's or Target, you know, just regular online shopping. It's It's amazing, you know, and they just started it. So there's like a lot of things that they're trying to to fix, but it has been really, really amazing. So with the party site, it's um we just log in, set it up basically, put our inventory on there. We can set up a party for 12 hours, for five hours, for two years. <laughs> it just like varies what you want to do. You can do inventory, all inventory, new inventory, one type of style, all of that. And what I found with the party site with me was when I put the new inventory up, I... I don't want to say that it was it went badly, but it didn't go as well as I thought it would, especially because when I put a new inventory up, it was like chiffon ruffles. I had chiffon ruffles and leggings, and I thought that people were going to snag them like this. And when I went on Periscope, they did, and but when I went did the party site, they didn't. I only sold like two. So I was like, ah, uh, okay. I don't know if this party site is going to work for me. But then I did the party site this weekend, and I had... I mean, they weren't amazing sales, but I had sales and I sold stuff that has been in my inventory for a little while. So sometimes just putting it on the site and just 
seeing it in a different way kind of helps people you know want it more it's just kind of odd it's just odd how it works out so when i put them in my album sales they never no one was interested in them but then i put it on the party site and people were interested in stuff that i've had that they've probably seen but there's just a lot of factors in that you know the stock photo it could be that they weren't looking for that specific item before but they are now and sometimes i mean i've grown my group a lot since i've done the party site the first time by a few hundred people so yeah about like 250 so since i've done since i did the party site the first time so i've grown my group a lot so that really has helped me and then same thing with facebook live the first time i did facebook live i <laughs> it was awful i sold one thing and i could tell you her name she's a really good customer of mine one thing okay and i thought i'm never doing facebook live again these girls are not buying from me on facebook live they want to do album sales or i'm going on periscope forget this i'm not doing this again especially with especially because facebook live has a 20 second lag like you can't have music on there i've done the the non-copyrighted music and i don't know they took my video down but then i was able to put it back up it's just like such a hassle so I got Hilos in and I decided to do Facebook Live. I said, you know what? I'm going to try Facebook Live for the Hilos. I've got new people. I'm going to try Facebook Live. Sorry, guys. I don't know if, you, if that messed up. Someone was trying to call. I'm going to try Facebook Live. And I sold like almost all my Hilos on that Facebook Live in my group. So when I first did a Facebook Live, I had like 200 members. And then the second time I had like 750 and sold like all my almost all my Hilos. So... It changes you know and it's just like your goals are gonna change and everything changes as your group grows different things change and yeah but um does anyone have any questions I know that Shelby's probably still on so she's probably answering a lot of questions I love Shelby we chat she's awesome she is amazing I started first watching Shelby Shelby who did I first start watch Lauren then Shelby because she shared a broadcast and Jennifer because she shared a broadcast Lauren shared her broadcast all those Jennifer Kelly and Mary <laughs> I used to watch I, I mean I still watch them but they were like the first first girls I watched but does anyone have any questions or have anything they are wondering about that I can help you with before I pop off this was pretty straightforward. <laughs> you know, drink my second cup of coffee for the day. All right, guys. So while well, I have you here, if you want to shop Carrie's, <laughs> go ahead and click on my profile. <laughs> and yeah, I love Mary. It says Mary was the first person I found. Um, you can shop with Carrie's. I did them yesterday and I'm going to put them on the party site today. And I might do a Periscope later with them. I have so many beautiful curies and then um if you're not in my group go ahead and join my group click on the profile or if you're on youtube click on the link below and join my group if you are interested in shopping with me and on periscope i love periscope it's really personal but thank you guys so much for watching hey sydney i'm about to pop off but feel free to watch the replay um if someone is debating staying in the queue do you think it's worth the wait yeah of course i do think it's um worth the wait but it is something that you have to look into yourself. If you're looking into other companies, I do recommend you to really look deep into other companies because sometimes you just see what's on the surface and not what's below. And as a rep, I mean, I'm not even like friends with anyone from these other companies. Well, LuLaRoe I am, but not my Amelia James or like Honey and Lace, but there's girls who share their, thing, their things on Periscope and it's things that are below the surface and it's crazy. Do we have our problems? Yes. Party site is new. There's lots of glitches. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on. The wait for you guys is sucks, but they stopped onboarding because they wanted to grow the company. I mean, everyone would be like scrambling for inventory and complaining if they decided to not stop onboarding. That's what it is. You know, everyone wants what they can't have, but it's like if they were onboarding right now, if they had continued onboarding, we'd be... I, I don't want to curse on here, but it would um, really suck. <laughs> That's not the word I was going to use, but really, it would really, really suck. So, and, um, you know, I, I always want to say that it's not just about selling. Yeah, we all want to sell. We want to make money. We all do this for whatever reasons we have. 
but it's also about the community, the sisterhood. We get questions answered. Buffy, our leader, she comes on, she talks to us. She She's like so calming and so relaxed. She talks to us like once a week practically. You know, HQ is constantly trying to keep us up to date with things. So for me, I feel that having all of that together, really, hi Cheryl, having all of that together, it really is amazing. You know, and Agnes and Doris, they don't, they don't have empty promises. That's what I can say. They, they tell us they're working on it. You know, people, and you see people complain and stuff, but they're working on it. They're humans. They're, when you see their headquarters, like, it's like an office. Like, it's, it's normal. It's not like this huge freaking, like, place they're showing. It's like, they're, they're in an office, you know? I mean, it's like real people trying to fix our problems, any problems that we may be having. And I mean, I've had, like, head of IT, like, contact me directly I mean, I've had Agnes and Dora HQ message me. I mean, it's it's a really great community and it's just all about like helping each other. And yeah, is there negativity? Absolutely. It's all women. <laughs> when I used to work at Neiman Marcus and a group of women, did I get along with all of them every day? No. And there was only 30 of us in there. <laughs> so um, will you get along with everyone? No, you won't because we're women. <laughs> but is it a sisterhood it is and my team's amazing everyone's amazing i it's just like i always feel like i'm getting helped i always feel like my answers are being my questions are being answered and i don't feel unheard you know i always feel like things are being worked on we do we have an amazing team we have an amazing i love being on a team we were adopted by lauren i remember i messaged lauren one time asking her a question and she was like, who's Dorothy's referring rep? And I was like, oh, you know, she, she's not with Agnes and Dora anymore for whatever reasons it may be. And she was like, oh, tell her to contact me and, you know, we'll talk, we'll chat and I'll adopt you guys. And I was like, yes. <laughs> so we got adopted, <laughs> you know, and I was like, yeah. Um, but we do, we have an amazing team. And also it's all about communication with um, your referring rep. Because I talked to Dorothy, we're really good friends now and we talk we use an app called Boxer and we talk, my son's like right out of the door. Yeah, no, it's Dorothy. So Lauren adopted Dorothy who adopted, well, we were adopted. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just like talk to Lauren a lot. Yeah, Dorothy Booth. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, um, I talk to Dorothy like all day, every day, practically. We're just constantly chatting back and forth. And then anything that we're both kind of wondering about or I want even further advice on, I'll text Lauren <laughs> or put it on the team page. That's again, I love our team. Like I recently put something on the team, one of our team pages about um, doing in-home events and I've gotten several like replies and even someone offering, like it's just, I can't even, I, I, it's just amazing. Our team's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. So I love I love Agnes and Dora. I love the teamwork. I love that they don't do promotions all the time. I love that I'm not like fighting with someone else who wants to do a promotion on something because that's something I that scared me. I was like, if someone's doing promotion on leggings and like because they want to, then people are not going to pay full price for my leggings. You know, they really control a lot of things, not control, but they they try to make everything fair so that everyone can be successful. So, but I think I'll jump off of here. What time is it? Three o'clock, good. Because I've got to go to the post office. I've got lots of goodies to ship. I talked to my RL lot, so glad we have support while we were on the queue. Yeah, absolutely. Like we, oh, I'm sorry. I mumbled that. I talked to my, someone said I talked to my referring rep a lot and I'm glad we have a lot of support while in the queue. And that's exactly how it should be. You know, um, you should talk to your referring rep a lot and, you know, seek their advice, ask questions, you know, any of concerns, talk to them because that's what they're there for. Like, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, I think it's important. Someone said, yeah, absolutely. Like I'm, um, I have my girls on two team pages and someone said very on two team pages and I have my own team page as well. And I do Facebook lives on there and stuff like that. And I try to be active, but I talk to my baby reps a lot. Like, I ask them how they are. Um, I know, like, personal things that are going on. Like, I connected, you know? And that's how it should be. 
that's how Dorothy and I are. So that's how it should be. You should be able to um, voice your concerns and whatnot and talk to them. Now, are if, are they available all the time, every day? They might not be. Like Lauren's very busy and she has a big team. So what does she do? She sets time for them. I mean, it's amazing. And that's how it should be. You should be able to talk to, talk to um, your referring rep and seek advice. All right. All right, ladies, I'm going to hop off. If you want to shop Curies, go to my last Periscope and um, join my group if you want to uh, shop with me. But thank you for the hearts, and I will see you guys maybe today. I don't know. All right, bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Ooh, go back here. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Someone said thanks for the video, Jess. Thank you. Later. <laughs> bye, guys.